Yeah. I'll just call the quarters. Still there, Dr. Hardy. Well, yes, we're on our way home, though. I'll get the door for you. A any developments I should know about? Yeah. Well, everything seems under control, Steve, but if anything breaks, I'll give you a call, all right? Pretty safe. She's asleep. I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd bring a care package by. In the cafeteria here is for Grady. Here's some coffee and, and orange juice and, and bagel. You guys are the greatest. I'm not very hungry right now. We wanted to do something. Just your being here is enough. Well, it's just so awful. It's like, I can't believe it. I know. I mean, what if this thing happens? Nothing's gonna happen. Bobby's gonna be all right. We all have to believe that. Come on, I don't ask for that many favors. Crystal, this is one hell of a way to start my day. Listen, you promised me. You told me you would be here today. I know that, but Sean needs me here. You, I need you here. Do you have any idea the kind of a backlog we've got here? The kind of problems I got on my hands? We're talking one day. You got plenty of manpower here. Sean is all alone. He needs to help. Everybody needs help. We got a woman over in Oakdale. She needs help. Her husband's a wife beater. We got a landlord down the waterfront. He needs help. He's got another truck. He's piling up in his foyer. We got the traffic division. They need help. They got scoff lawyers trying to beat tickets. Listen, Sean needs help. I need help. You, oh, wait a minute. Maybe you're above such mundane police matters. Give me any case you want to, all right? I'll work overtime without pay if I have to. I'll take anything you give me, just not today, all right? I'm asking you for one day. All right. I better see your bright, shiny face here first thing in the morning. Otherwise, you can start thinking about kissing this department goodbye. I'll be there first thing. And thanks, I owe you. Well, look, maybe change your bear once you see me, so stick close. Because if he tells me where Alistair is hiding, I want you to move and move fast. Come on. Alistair's been 12 or 6 times for the avenue in the loft. He's alone. I'll send the WSP to back you up and go get him. Donnelly, there's a call for you. Detective Joe. Chris, talk to me. What do you got? I got Alistair signed, sealed, and fingerprinted. Oh, fantastic. Any problems? No, nothing I couldn't handle. I'll tell you about it when I see it. What's happening there? How's Bobby? She's worse, so is Barrett. What about the antidote? Got up in red tape, but they're working it out. I'll tell you about it when I see it. You just stay in touch. Right. You know, you'd make it a hell of a lot easier if you'd cooperate with us. I have nothing to say. Federal agents are on their way to pick him up. In the meantime, I'm going to hold him in a security cell. Well, that's fine with me. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Now, oh, Mr. Jones, if you are through with your WSB work, maybe you can give us a few minutes of your time for the uh, PCPD? Yes, sir. Anything you say, just name it. Jones, yeah. somebody's asking for you. Says it's important. Uh, it's probably my wife. I'll, I'll get it in a minute. Uh, not quite. It's some vagrant that we just hauled in. He asked to see you. Knows your name. What's his? Walker. Calls himself Dusty. Walker. Never heard of him. I'll give him the message. Yeah, well, uh, what the hell? I got a little work to do here. Tell him I'll see him when I can. All right. How many does that make you? Is that three now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's about all I think you should have. Good luck with that. Thank you, Chris. Joe. What? Hey. Hey. I didn't ask to see you, right? You asked to see me. So I don't need to hear this. Hear Frisco. Well, that's what it says right here. You're a cop. Oh, man. Blackie didn't tell me. Well, maybe Blackie didn't know. Who the hell is Blackie? He knows you. He said you were Bud. Why don't you refresh my memory then? Well, you said you know who I was talking about right off. I met him in the slam. He's got, uh, oh, he's got black hair, big eyes, big mouth. He's into music. 
How's my old buddy Blackie doing? You do remember. He had me go on there for a minute. Blackie's great. He's just great. Only the last time I saw him, he was doing great. When was that? A year ago. That's when he got out. Well, he still must be out. I suppose he's doing all right. How about you? Well, I got out a month ago. Not the same joint, a different one. That's why I'm here. I had no place else to crash. One day I was playing that thing, and I remembered a song Blackie liked, and I remembered how he used to talk about poor Charles. So I'd check it out. Yeah. He just made a special trip here, huh? Oh, you could say that, yeah. He told me all about you. Oh, almost. He said you were cool. And some chick, uh, named Taffy? Yeah, yeah, that's it, Taffy. She's, uh, no, she's put together real well, he said. She owns a TV station or something? Oh, well, you got part of that right. Did I let you bring this in? Well, it's no secret weapon. And again, when I'm playing, it'll blast you away. You know anything about music? A little bit. So what have you been doing since? Oh, I've been seeing the world. I don't stay in one place too long. I used to do that myself. It gets rather tiring after a while. Oh, man, I'm exhausted. So I decided to just stop by Port Charles and pay a little visit, huh? Yeah. It's the only place I know I can crash out and chow down for free. Do the accommodations and food suit you? Oh. And compared to some of the places I've been in, this is Beverly Hills. My last castle was a horror show. Last time I got picked up, I was singing too loud in the bus station. Man, am I looking in the mirror or what? How do you think I landed in here? Me and the sound machine were just warming up. The old boys in blue didn't appreciate it. Well, some people don't have a great appreciation for music. That's what I say. Now, you were lucky, though. You probably had somebody come to the rescue. I bet you only spent one night here. Me, I ain't got nobody. I'm stuck here. Well, any friend of Black isn't a friend of mine. You got somebody? I'll see what I can do. Hey, all right. No promises. No. Hey, you are a major dude. I mean, anybody who gets me out of here is a major buttola. Uh, Frisco. Yeah. When you get me out of here. Maybe you could, uh, hook me up with that taffy lady. I always wanted to be on TV. I'll talk to taffy. All right. Hey, baby.